Hi there, Luke here with another video. For those of you who may be new to our channel, my name is Luke and I make videos with my husband Tyler about our experience since moving from North America to the UK. Specifically on this channel, I'm gonna be walking you through the various travel experiences that we have since moving here, as well as our goal of visiting all of the European countries before our time ends here in the UK at the end of 2023 which should be interesting with all of this COVID stuff going on. So stay tuned to see if we are successful in our goal. The only way you'll know is if you subscribe in order to stay tuned to all of our various videos that will be coming out on a weekly basis. If you watched our last video, you'll know that we were living in a town called Shrewsbury in the West Midlands, and that we were enjoying visiting as many of the smaller towns that were in this area on weekends as we could. In this video, I'm gonna take you to a different region of England, which is called the Cotswolds, which you may have heard of because it's a very beautiful, distinctive, and very charming part of England that is well worth your time to explore if you have the chance. We decided to take a three-day weekend for from work in order to maximize our time and enjoy what the Cotswolds have to offer as much as possible. From work, we headed straight to the town of Cheltenham, and that was our base for our entire time in the Cotswolds. The next day, we hit the road in our rental car and proceeded to the lovely town of Painswick. Here, we enjoyed just walking around the cute town and enjoying the early morning sun views that were cast on the various charming buildings, as well as visiting Painswick Church. Our next stop was to Westonbert Arboretum, where we enjoyed the various paths as well as various types of trees that are on offer in this nice natural space. For us, our favorite part of the day was visiting Picture Perfect Castlecombe, which is a great spot to visit if you enjoy quintessential Cotswolds in terms of the beautiful village the super charming houses, as well as some of the stone architecture that you can see throughout the town. Really, really wonderful spot to visit if you are in this part of the Cotswolds. Cannot recommend it enough. From Castlecombe, we proceeded north to the town of Malmesbury, which is thought to be the oldest continually inhabited town in all of England. One of the major attractions in Malmesbury is Malmesbury Abbey. We also found a nice picnic area to enjoy some lunch and just enjoy relaxing in this picturesque setting. After Malmesbury, we stopped for just a brief time in the town of Siren Sister, Siren Sister. Locals, please let me know in the comments down below how you say this town name. I'm always very intrigued by how to pronounce different towns in England because it is more challenging than you would think for people who are not from here. So definitely let me know in the comments down below how you pronounce your town name. This town is actually known to many people as the capital of the Cotswolds, so a great place to check out. We enjoyed walking around the market as well as visiting the St. John Baptist Syrian Sister Church. Our final stop of the day was visiting the town of Bibury or Bibbury, not quite sure on the pronunciation there, but if you are interested in Insta-worthy pictures, a lot of people enjoy coming here to visit Arlington Row, which is just a small row of houses that people find particularly picturesque. The next day, we enjoyed driving to the town of Lower Slaughter. We loved walking around this little town and in particular walking along the river. Mm -hmm. 
Following Little Slaughter, we proceeded to Borton on the Water, which is sometimes referred to as the Venice of the Cotswolds because of its various bridges over the river that passes through this town. Next up, we headed to the medieval town of Burford. We were a bit peckish and in the mood for some caffeine, so we proceeded to Huffkin's Bakery and Tea Rooms and enjoyed some scones with clotted cream and coffee. This town is great to walk around as well on the main street where you can enjoy some nice views of the Cotswolds Hills in the distance. Last but not least, we visited St. John the Baptist Church, which has very beautiful, very well-preserved wooden ceilings. After having a nice experience here, we proceeded to Chipping Camden, which is a really cute town in the north part of the Cotswolds. Finally, the Cotswolds being known for its tiny towns, we of course headed to one more tiny town called Stanton before heading back home. For our last day in the Cotswolds, we checked out of our Airbnb and proceeded to just walk around the city of Cheltenham a bit. After this, we had a bit of a longer drive to get back to Shrewsbury, so we decided to break it up a bit and visit a town on the way. Specifically, we picked the iconic Stratford-upon-Avon. For those of you who aren't aware, Stratford-upon-Avon is a worthwhile place to visit, especially if you are interested in the history of literature, because this is where Shakespeare was born. I had visited this town way back in high school, but I didn't really remember a lot about it, and it was nice to revisit it with a new set of eyes and a new perspective. And in particular, a great reason that we enjoyed it as well is that the weather was a lot better this time around than when I went in high school. So even if you aren't into the history stuff, which there is a lot of if you are interested in Shakespeare, but even if you aren't interested in it, this is a cute place to visit, particularly along the River Avon, where we just really enjoyed walking along the river and enjoying some of the swans that were collected in this area. One spot we did want to visit in Stratford-upon-Avon was the Holy Trinity Church, but unfortunately it was closed to general visitors because it was a Sunday and was reserved just for worship, so we were not able to visit it this time around, but maybe if we return to the area we'll check it out. Alright everyone, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse of the Cotswolds with us. I'm sure there are many smaller towns and areas that we missed, but the Cotswolds is a really dynamic, beautiful region, chock full of gorgeous, charming English towns. So if there are towns that you enjoyed that we didn't see, let us know in the comments down below. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe, and stay tuned for our next video where we take you to the absolutely beautiful Snowdonia National Park in the north of Wales. This was Tyler's first experience ever visiting Wales, and what an unforgettable experience it was, in good weather no less. So if you want to see the majesty and beauty of this region of Wales, then do not miss our next video. I promise you it is such a treat to see this beautiful scenery in such great conditions. I hope to see you at the next video. Bye.